Media Guard Dragon. Wow. He is from Next Level Card Gaming, a team nice. that is not that well known yet, but they, these guys are so amazing. I like them very much, and I think the, that the names are switched because I can see Valor and Fusion of Fire in the hand of the guy that doesn't, you know. Yeah, I think uh, we can see his name. He's uh, Martin Friedrich. Is, is he the Summon Limit guy? So No, Kevin is the Summon Limit guy. Oh, okay, this is Kevin, all right. This would be last name that I can't really read on our screen. So it starts with S, but yeah, it's, I don't want to make any guesses. That's there. That's that's Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Opening two Valor versus yeah, combo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand. That could be huge. And yeah. yeah, he's still playing that same deck. At least he's playing Crusadia Abobia, which is kind of a hint on that Crusadia Guard Dragon deck. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> I mean, it could just be a random sure. combo deck. But let's see. We can already see his hand Same. right there. I think he has that God Dragon, uh, no, that uh, World Legacy spell, that Reborn spell right there. And he also has Colop Serpent. By the way, Crusader Arborea is a card that protects Crusader players from dump players. Oh. <laughs> because if you ogre the Sparta and your opponent started with Arborea, you can just banish Arborea to protect it from ogre. So always over the LP. Yeah, or you very, will very get good. punished. Yeah, true, true. So, who is going first there? As a Salomon Great player is going yeah. first. So, I don't know. Like, Crusadia Guardian always uh, also has like such a great first turn. Why would you necessarily play some limit? I, I don't see it, honestly. Because if your first turn is getting stopped, then you can't play around your own some limit either. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point, actually, yeah. I'm not you, can, you can put up multiple negates already with your, with your God Dragon combos. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I think he's also not playing Kaijus. Hmm. He's only playing Christia. Yeah, I watched that deck profile because I like the guys from Next Level Card Gaming so much. Yeah. yeah, they were like really polite. Nice, nice. I said the team you, you played against at the yeah. regionals or at locals. Yeah, I wanted to make those team of the week, but then I got sick. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah, what a shame for them. So we see some standard openings from the Salomon Great player. Yeah. But he did not go into Bailings, so he has no Sanctuary left. Yeah, he, he couldn't start with... Uh, yeah, he's going to go into Bailings now. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, I, I love this opening. It's so much cooler than the, the, than the Nuts opening, because if you have Phantasmae, you will end on a Sunlight Wolf and Sanctuary in hand, and the Sunlight Wolf has no monster under it. So you can just add something back with your Phantasmae. I love that. But he doesn't have Phantasmae. But he does have Valor. Yeah, and he can and add. It looks like he only has one Valor yeah. now. He can add back with the circle as well. I don't know, right? He has two Valors, but his opponent has Valor. What? What do you? No, no, no. Yeah, right. I was just wondering, but but the cards in hand cannot be correct because. <laughs> nah. Uh, uh, I don't uh, think the the Crusadia Guard Dragon decided to <laughs> to run a, a random copy of uh, the Sullivan Great Circle. <laughs> I mean, it might, would might be a weird spicy. thing to do. <laughs> I mean, you can in instantly go for Invoker and summon Zodiac Red Pier. Okay, we just got information that our, our guy that is doing the cards in hand is fixing that, and he's trying to give us the correct cards in hand right there. So, there is the second Sunlight Wolf. I'm not a big fan of this first turn, because he could have like gone for the reincarnation link of Sunlight Wolf while getting... Bailings into the graveyard, so I think this is definitely a misplay. Yeah, you're right. That's not correct. And he also had to activate Sanctuary. Yeah. And I like to keep that in hand because, like, at this point, it's fragile. Imagine playing against Sky Striker and they open with foolish yes. burial goods, and then they find a way to get into Afterburners, so they could get just get rid of your Sanctuary, which really hurts your grind game. So there is. The God Dragon part, go oh sorry, the Crusadia part for now going on. And because of the two Vaders in the hand of Kevin, it is kind of likely that we're not going to see any big God Dragon action. Do you, I think you probably throw the Vader on Sparta? I think you throw your first one on Magus. Okay. So he can't extend into uh, Draco. He yeah. can't search the Draco and without the Draco you can't go into God Dragons. Okay, so Unless he has the Collapse Serpent, so... Okay, so he, he's patient, I like that. Uh, not too greedy with the hand traps. Uh... And he probably did set the Cult by the Grave, right? 
Yeah, I mean. Kalpa okay, yeah, okay, it's two sets. So he sets oh. the Kalpa's grave and the circles. That makes sense. Do you have any idea what this crown thing does? Not really, no. Well, I mean, I read it once, but <laughs> I just forgot everything. Yeah, and and you, uh, I think they always say you you have to play it. Yeah, let me uh, let it's me just search it. Mandatory up. to play. So this is Farpa. Do do you now drop the Veiler? Uh, I mean, you probably let him summon first, so that he has wasted the summon of his God Dragon right there. Yeah. So there's LP. And now the typical combo is to move LP to the side with Barbar. And we still have no response. Yeah, Maybe I, I think you rather just Syria. negate the LP. There's the Veiler. Oh, and there's the Cold by the Grave. And there is the second Veiler, as we knew. Yeah, that hurts. If you don't have two Veilers, then always go for Ash first, if you have Ash and Veiler, by the way. So that you can still chain your Veiler sure, to sure. be called by the Grave. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of a beginner thing to know. You know what I hate about the deck uh, of oh. Guardians? It's so fragile. Uh, Chat helps us out. Word Crown can special itself to a zone a Link Monster points to. Oh. Okay, that's basically what all the... Crusaders, the Crusaders do, are yeah. doing, but he's a, a world legacy monster, okay. So this thing has to do something else, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. So we're just looking at that. And from that point on, it could be, yeah, he now starts to attack. And I mean, <laughs> just attacking over over the Veilings won't do a whole lot there. Uh, especially, like, can't you go into... Uh, he probably doesn't have a Link 3 Dragon. Ready to go, right? Oh, this is a pass turn, and in the end phase, circle will be flipped up. So let's go into game two. <laughs> oh no, there's some damage. Yeah, okay. okay, so the real career in help, helping us out, World Crown also negates the effect of a special summon from the extra. Yeah, and Collapse Serpent wasn't activated. Yep. That, is that hurts. Not too good. Because then he could have instantly gone to Saryuja. <laughs> Again, that feature match. Fear, maybe, and they're just nervous. The uh, cult doesn't resolve before the Veiler does, because the last Veiler is like uh, chaining three, so it resolves before a cult is activated. Exactly, yeah. Somebody is in the chat was wondering. It's not about the first anymore. Veiler anymore. No, no, definitely not. Yeah, and also some other guys in the chat are just helping out. <laughs> also, also lingering effects don't matter. Like you can still chain a lockbird to call by the grave, right? Yeah, sure, you can. So, like once the effect has resolved, it's fine. I mean, what do you do with your summon limit? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you have summon limit set, which is, I mean, you can flip it after the second summon. But... I mean, you will stop the turn, but you can't play. <laughs> it's like your game is over after that, isn't it? <laughs> I mean. I'm just wondering, like, you played Royal Oppression when it was allowed back in the day, and you basically played it in, in everything, I would say, at some no. point, because it was so good. And you also did that, like, you build up your board, and then you just had Oppression as a backup, so that's probably, like, no. kind of a similar approach. But I really do not see the point either. Like, is there any other floodgate that makes sense for him? Like, when he has built his boards of, of dragons, like... There can only be one. Really I don't. I don't. Option. I don't think that you need your board if you have that. You need your floodgates. That, that is a different board. different point, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you really need a floodgate? So he has not flipped up the summon limit yet. Oh, what what happened to the summon limit? Oh, did he shuffle? Oh, he shuffled it nah, back. Yeah, it's Leo. Uh, hot Leo, like cool. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Six hundred twenty-two players are in the main event. That's a whole lot of players, and it will be nine rounds of Swiss. And uh, I mean, it is a super special event, a whole lot of players, extra prices, and so on. But in the core, it is still a regional, so there will be no top yep. cut, just the nine rounds of Swiss. And I mean, <laughs> even playing top cut after nine rounds of Swiss would be crueling on one day. That would be like undoable. Yeah, especially for, like... for us and for the players. Even more for the players, of course. Yeah, you would have to go top 16 all, uh, also. So yeah, that, that as well, cool. right. Yeah. Four more rounds for some players. So you would be dead after this day, especially after the tournament started at one o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like half past one. And it's not like you're, you're super chilled for, for like 
the past two hours because there's there with your friends and everybody's coming and like woo 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 and everybody's oh. hyped. We had such a big tournament. It's like additional YCS. Yeah, you so had no sleep because so you had to happy. travel. Exactly. Yeah. Like uh, some of uh, of my local players from Berlin, <laughs> they they traveled to Cologne at 20 minutes past midnight. So <laughs> they started their traveling. So they're like basically awake for the whole night just to get to their tournament. Yeah. Also, Cologne is such a big city. Like. It's, the entire area is actually big so if you come from like different places you want to maybe party a lot if you have uh, heard our podcast with merlin schumacher <laughs> you might realize that some yugi players really like to party Definitely. so you would be exhausted from that i mean i also know know some who uh, haven't been like sleeping too much this <laughs> night yeah that's like a common common thing for sure yeah I mean, it's still a game. Like, you still really want to enjoy your yeah, trips with your fun. friends. Definitely. Yeah. He's really going in there, right? <laughs> just, definitely. Who needs fusion of fire? Oh, he has fusion of fire in his hand, like a hard draw, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he just started with it. Yeah, There's funny. Spinny as well. That's so many monsters. Yeah. By, by the way, he sent Roar and then forgot to activate it. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, he can summon Falco with Merge Stelio, so that's probably better. Yeah, you're right. I am Kamani, thank you for, for the love. We are very happy to do that stream for you today as well, as always. So they're just double checking, but it looks like Spinny wasn't able to activate. Love to Australia, uh, love back to Australia, back mate. Yeah. Mate. All the love. Wallaby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I don't know. Why, why couldn't you summon the, the Spinny there? Is there like any reason? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't really know. But it seems like they have an, an idea. <laughs> Why is Crusadia not scooping? Maybe because you want to see all the tech cards of the Settlement Great player so you can properly side. Oh my god, he's running spinny. <laughs> exactly, I didn't expect that. Like, insane. Oh, and now he's searching uh, fall, so he's also playing double fall. Nice to know that. <laughs> Uh, okay, Fusion and of Fire. Finally, Fusion of Fire. Yeah, and now he is picking up his cards. Yeah. It is 1 0 for Kevin and his Salomon Grades. And they're doing. It's not Kevin. Oh, no, it's not. Ah, oh, sorry. I was mis uh, yeah, I was mistaken. I mean, he's Martin. So Martin is leading 1 0 now, right? Yeah. Spinny was added back with Sunlight Wolf. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Young uh, Love from NG. What is, what is NG? Nigeria, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, could, that, could that works. Be. I mean, I mean, let's just say it is Nigeria, but <laughs> young Collins just uh, tell us what it is, and then we could, can could also give be shout out to that. Could could also be Papua New Guinea. Guinea. Uh, that would be even more wild, but yeah. <laughs> it, it could be. Ah. Oh, it, it, I'm Komori. Is curious about that as well. <laughs> Top sixteen Salomon team got Herman. Yeah, Milstein. Yu-Gi-Oh, that's still... Yeah, he has been... Uh, Herbert Handlebar. <laughs> a very regular watcher. Of yeah, game, that is yeah. true. We love him. He's always interacting yeah. in the chat as well. That's very, very Congrats cool. on your top 16, by the way, bro. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Shoutouts. <laughs> He's the Danish ABC god, by the way. I don't know if this, this uh, is still a meme that people use, but I won't quit. Like, I, I met him at Milan Airport. Yeah. After YCS Milan, and I called him Herbert Handelbar, and then like his mom was next to him, and, <laughs> and you didn't know. She, yeah, she, I, I have no idea if she knew, but she looked at me weirdly, and that was funny. <laughs> I was a bit embarrassed about that. Yeah, but you still probably were very happy about your joke because you're always <laughs> very happy about your jokes. And I love making like you're, jokes. you're the biggest lover of your own jokes. Yeah, I would that, say. that is true. <laughs> like a friend of mine actually told me. Like a joke is just funny if everybody laughs and I was like, do you even know me? <laughs> so it really is Nigeria, young Collins is, is saying. Yeah. I, I'm not sure whether I, that's I, actually true, but I mean, uh, NG probably is Nigeria, but whether that's very no. greetings from Nigeria. If, if yes, I'm, I'm very happy to actually have yeah. viewers from Nigeria, which is really, really cool. Are, are you Italian? Are you Italian national champion, Collins? Or are you a different Collins? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. That's, there's a Collins from uh, so, so. from Italy, and he yeah. might actually be from Nigeria, yeah. and it's just right there. I don't know. Like it could be possible. Could be, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's go into game two, as the, the French people would say. 
Yeah, all men in Schumacher in our podcast. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> yeah, because he was switching the languages set. like uh, yeah. like nobody else, I would say. Yeah, he was, he was trained the same. Necros is a casualty of all anti-strikers side. What? People were debating whether Necros is still competitive in the chat. Hmm. So I think that's a, an approach to actually <laughs> explain something about Necros there. <laughs> Oh, we are getting... I'm Komoni donated. Ooh. Thank you for that. This is very generous. We have no idea how much. Nice. But uh, anyways, it's amazing. Thank you for the support. I think that's actually the first donation yeah. on our channel. It so... yeah, doesn't, doesn't speak for us, but... <laughs> yeah, but uh, keep it coming, guys. <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. But thanks a lot, I'm Komoni. So we were very happy to actually receive a donation there. When a third-party stream is better than a U.S. Konami stream, oh! We just got a private message there. And Thank you're you and lot. you're so right about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we also have all the cars in hand as well. We have like all the technical features. We have our dyna dynamic duo yeah. <laughs> between us two, and like just Yu-Gi-Oh, as we all love it. Yeah, we call ourselves the dynamic duo, by the way. This is this is just, yeah, just how we are. Yeah. This is the kind of people we are. <laughs> Giving ourselves nicknames, nicknames so, yeah. so we sound cooler. <laughs> I mean, Leonard already has like a cool surname, as you as you were saying at the start of the stream. But like the dynamic duo is just is just power, I think. Yeah. By the way, we see some emotes in the chat. Yeah. Um, we will have more oh, emotes coming. So we will have nice. our own CSL emotes coming. So if you want to sub. If you that you can do with Twitch Prime, if you didn't know, yeah, because I didn't. <laughs> um, Have you sub yet, now? Yeah, I think so. Nice. So uh, yeah, we'll have very not only special like we won't only have like the CSL logo or something. Awesome. We'll have like really, really, really cool. I, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, but, we won't spoil it. But very cool emotes, and our subs will be able to see them as soon yeah. as they're getting yeah. out. Like yeah. really Yu-Gi-Oh related designs like artworks yeah. and so on, and you will love them, definitely. Like, when we saw them first, we were like, wow, these are amazing. Yeah. We didn't expect them to be that good. It's really, really nice, for sure. <laughs> I mean, we don't have some of the face of trip gaming. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we, we don't need it. <laughs> so Crusadia Draco is summoned to the... Fi is it Draco? Yep, Should it be is. Draco, yeah. It is. Summoned to the Phantasmic Hall. Like, he, he wasn't hesitant on that. I think that was basically a, mis a misplay, by the way. Because he summons it too early, because it, he could profit more. Uh, yeah, you could just do it on the uh, on the LP summon because at that point, like all your hand traps that you can draw still work. Yeah, you, you can still draw to Vader and you're yeah, fine. Yeah, and right? you have like one more draw. I still remember the first time Leo played versus Crusadia. Sorry, bro. Yeah, thanks, Collins. Like, we, <laughs> we played in Dreieck. Yeah. Dreieck, three oak. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for the insiders, okay. <laughs> yeah. So so he like beat me. Hard. Yeah, like, like when Collins I, played a lot of, of Crusadia, yeah, right? And when, he did very well with the deck. Yeah, when I let him start, he just passed the turn, I couldn't deal enough damage, and then I lost. Yeah. <laughs> Sad story. Yeah, that was so nice. You look at this fucking Kaijus. Yep, Jonasy, you're right. The Salomon Great player did win round one, so the score is not updated yet. Yeah. But definitely the Salomon Great player is leading right now. Did he draw into, into any hand traps with the Phantasme, though? That's really important right now. Because he definitely has to, because it will be hard for him to overcome a full board of Crusadia Guard Dragons. Doesn't look like it, honestly. And maybe he could have gotten one if he had, like, the third <laughs> draw. <laughs> you could have done it, yep. Yeah. It's like, always. Oh, so this is what I love about the format, by the way. Like, small mistakes that you make can cost you the game. Definitely. Like, wait, that, 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 like, no. Let's phrase it differently. I don't like it if small mistakes cost you the game. This is also something I don't like about those combo decks. <laughs> but um, okay. I like it when people are, like, there is room for mistakes. I hated getting Goki comboed by some guy who I knew just watched, like, a video guide on YouTube. Yeah. Like, sitting down at four round one, basically finishing the YouTube video for the combos, and then he just combos it off, and it's like... Yeah, now I think I have to do that and yeah. something. Yeah, I totally know what you mean, and I had yeah. that experience as well. Because all the Goki combos were way too hard to like <laughs> really, really uh, study, and so they were just like 
I'm probably fine if I have them by 70% or something <laughs> and that will be enough and then I will be good. <laughs> If he has no hand trap, I'm winning anyway. Yeah. And if he has a hand trap, okay, I will have to do some work. And I, I can will... play around five hand traps. It's no <laughs> problem for me. Yeah. Oh, he activated the guard dragon spell that I have no idea what it does. I think it summons That's a dragon a and then it, it, it like... Puts... I think it's just just a reborn too. Isn't it also like Senet? Oh, Fapisti! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a joke that came up. Uh, I think it was during our Ultimate Guard League match. Yeah. During the cup. And uh, Pisti now is associated with <laughs> the German phrase. Yeah, for Pisti. Tell us. Just, no, for Pisti. For Pisti, well, right? Oh, for Pisti, yeah. It's, it's like for Pisti now. Oh, Crystal Wing. Someone doesn't have enough money for a Red Hot Dragon Archfiend Abyss. The card with way too many names, by the way. Mm. Can I, I just pe like... Pe people are arguing whether... Was well, the Hot Red Dragon Abyss Ashwin is actually better right now? People are some people are saying that Crystal Wing is better for now. Okay, can can't we just like start calling cards like simple names again, like <laughs> like Carl, or yeah, like Freddy? It kind of is like you you already lost in the name when you yeah. said it halfway through, right? Hot Red Dragon Abyss Ashwin was was that correct? I think it was, right? Or was it Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss? Okay, so Hot was... Red Archfiend Dragon Abyss. Hot Abyss Archfiend Dragon. <laughs> Dragon Just Hot... call him however you want. If you can summon him, do it. You know, because he's very good and he's a negate. So that's why you play him. And also, um, yeah, as Jonasy is saying in the chat, Crystal Wing is better against Salmon Great. Yeah, I, I was I was like thinking from the mind of a Thunder Dragon player as you play Arc Brave combo now most of the time. Yeah. And if you go for Arc Brave combo, then you suffer from Called by the Grave, which you can negate with the Hot Red Dragon as this Archfiend. Uh, like, what is this card again? This is like I, I saw this one, and someone. Oh, that's the, the Quantum Dragon, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell us what the card does. <laughs> go, Mas. Good, good joke, bro. Be, good be joke. informed. Be informed. <laughs> Provide seven, some information for seven, our viewers. I, I, I do know that it is a card from uh, Seventh Strike, so mm -hmm. a very new, newly released card. And I think it does not do super much on its own. Wow, well, that, that deck is spicy, isn't it? He's like, going for Naturia Beast, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's, that's Bumby hitting. Yeah, but right I wanted there. to say Bumby too, yeah. Let's, let's hope his mother doesn't get shot in this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in this, in oh this please, tree. please stop it, stop it. <laughs> Did someone just steal the crystal wing? Um, no, he's, I think he's just reading it for now. <laughs> I, I mean, hopefully, may, maybe you also did steal it, but let's see. There's Naturia Beast as well. How good is Naturia Beast against Settlement Grade, though? I mean, if you can summon it on top, it's like cool because it's good against Cult by the Grave and it's good against Cycle, and he yeah. cannot actually activate the field spell. But I mean, it's not. Super, super good, I would say. Let's, let's see what this Quantum Dragon does. Oh, he does keep it on board. Okay. Yeah, we will just check the effect of the Quantum Dragon. Because I think that's kind of a new trend. I haven't seen it, like, before YCS Düsseldorf or so, so nobody was really playing it there. But lately, on in the internet and in some dwelling book games, I noticed people are playing that card now. So tell us, what does it do? Um, okay, so... While you control the link monster, your opponent can't target your cards with card effects. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, like, super polymerization and... Uh... No, super poly works, I guess. Oh, yeah, right, you can, because Naturia Beast has to mill, right? So he can still activate and it. And he can't respond, yeah. Yeah, 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 right, right. So, but Fusion of Fire still is not able okay, to guys, activate. Okay, guys, we are probably going to flip the board. Oh, yeah, don't be scared about that. We have flipped the board, or the <laughs> layout, so that the names are correct. Oh, sixth card. Look at this! Look at this! Ghost Ogre as the last card that he would have drawn if he... Oh, no, he shuffled the deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I was I was totally confused by now, but I I just realized now that we actually flipped the table. I was like, why does he have so many cards on his side of the board now? But yeah, as you were saying, we just uh, flipped the table, so yeah, as now the saying, names are correct as well. Yeah, too many coffees. Yeah, <laughs> too much coffee actually. I was like, so much in the zone. <laughs> what happened now? But yeah, we just flipped the table, so 
we have Martin on top, which now is 100% correct, and Kevin on the bottom. And we have a new score of 1-1. One, one. That was the equalizer. And we still have 18, mount, 18 minutes of the round left, so we will see a third game for sure. And we can look forward to that. So, sideboarding. He's actually siding out the summon limits now. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it and doesn't really make sense. A good like, idea. Like, main deck it, of course. But then, like, he is going first with the most powerful going first card, and then he's siding it out while going first. Like, it's I, I'm not too much of a fan of this strategy, to be honest. Yes, but, like, let's... let's Go a step back. Did, did he really shuffle his deck before drawing into Ghost Ogre? I mean, he should have. Like, he used Phantasme to draw two cards and then shuffle one oh, card. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, true. Otherwise, we should call, to, call the judge. <laughs> it's like an additional game loss. <laughs> true. Nice hand he has, by the way. Like, that's a good hand if you're shuffling, your, uh, if you're reciting. Yeah. Oh, no, he's true. like, Salomon Great is going to start now. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. So, Salad is going to start now. Of course, he's taking off the summon limits. Which yeah, I'm, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Wait, but okay, they they, I mean the names are still wrong. Oh yeah, but the, in the chat is just saying that the, Martin is actually on the bottom. But yeah, like 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 we we didn't realize that the names are wrong still or now. I have no idea. We're we're just so used to that by now. <laughs> we don't care anymore. Like sometimes we forget that it is an issue for you guys on the stream yeah. or watching it. I mean, for we just. In general, we're there for seeing the, the Yu-Gi-Oh action, right? And so when we can see the cards, we're already pretty happy because from time to time there are issues with that as well. So that it's like a mirroring effect, so we cannot really see the cards yeah. and something. But for now, the setup looks really good, like yeah. the, the cards and everything. So we're very happy with that. Yeah, it's and true. We can see the cards. I didn't be, even realize. <laughs> please be patient with us when we're like having the names messed up. We will definitely fix that as well, and we will have everything ready over the course of the day. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so. This is so nice, I'm so hyped. And this is like, not all due to the coffee. <laughs> no, because it's the biggest regional in Europe ever. Do you think that will be, be yeah. becoming a, a regular thing that we actually have like that big of a regional in Germany or like in Europe? Because in, in America, there are a lot of big regionals and it's yeah. like, they very regularly have big regionals. But I think in Europe, like for the last two to three years, we did not really have that. We had like some really big regionals in, of course, Cologne and like some of the metropoles in Germany. But like a number of 622 players was like not even in sight, I would say. Yeah, because we didn't really have the locations for that, right? That's also true. Yeah. Like Cologne was always big and now they have like this bigger prize pool and they announced it like even on the Konami page. Yeah, yeah. Which they could do more often, just saying. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, let's 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 take a look at the hands. Yeah, we have Ras fear mode emotes in the chat already. Yeah, so think, people anticipating that. <laughs> I don't think that's happening because like the deck kind of relies on the normal zone. I think that's true. Yeah, this fear mode is not really a good side for the uh, settlement great deck. Oh, he starts with a phantasme. Uh, he doesn't have to. But apparently he doesn't have too many cards. Oh, I mean, like, you don't necessarily side it out, right? Oh, Ash as well. Yeah, Ash is good. I think, does he have two Ashes? Can you please open up your hand a bit so we can see <laughs> it? God damn it. Yeah, Salami with some hand traps, that's true. Now, I, I don't count just, Phantasme just as a hand trap. I, yeah, I, we had that discussion before, right? Yeah. Is Phantasme really a hand trap? Because it actually just helps you to draw into your hand yeah, traps. The card is way. just rather more aggressive against, like, for example, Sky Striker, which is like the main matchup you play as a Salomon Great player, or the main matchup you fear. Yeah. It, helps, it helps you to protect your cards from targeting effects. And holy shit, those are hand traps. Is it Vader, Ash, Ogre, and <laughs> oh, Phantasme? And Falco, yeah. Oh yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's definitely like a few hand traps, but he actually forgot his, uh, his engine cards. Yeah, 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 he forgot the Salomon great cards, yeah. I mean, the good ones at least. <laughs> Maybe he misboarded a little and yeah. actually sided out all of his Salomon great yeah, cards. Yeah, Gazelle, I don't need that. 80% <laughs> hand trap hand, yeah. And on the other hand, we have double Fantasme as well. Like we're playing a game of hand traps. Yeah, now, now let's see if... Um... Martin is greedy and he's going for like the move of summoning Bailings, in which you of course like want to reduce the chance 
of drawing into your uh, sanctuary, yeah. but you're opening up the chance for your opponent to summon a phantasma, which like he, yeah, he passes. That was clever. He just passed. Yeah, don't don't summon your random link monster for no reason at all because. And like now he can go for his phantasma. Yeah, that's, that's very true. that's very well played. I'm I'm really happy with that. <laughs> but of course he opens up the possibility. Oh, to, and uh, this time he does not trap the phantasma immediately. Yeah. Maybe he learned from game two. Yeah, maybe he, he heard just us. Dropped it too early. <laughs> yeah, maybe he has somebody in his ear telling him. Nope, oh. he doesn't. Get, wait, but, that but doesn't that's a work. Late, like, yeah, it? you have to do this on like the summon of a link month. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's a little too late. Yeah, we I mean, don't maybe care. they just communicated and they were like, okay, we, we both know that it's over, but I mean, we're fine with <laughs> like, it. Oh, oh can, can I still do it on the Mega Summon? And <laughs> Kevin is like, yeah, sure, sure, go ahead. <laughs> do it, do it. Don't, don't I was just it. about to summon another Link Monster, so please do it now. Yeah, yeah. But this was not a misplay. This was rather like a misplay. Uh, like, like a, uh, not, not a misplay. Yeah. yeah, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> so we have, we have been casting for too long today. <laughs> I can't talk. So that was an illegal play. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Kevin got only one engine of Crusaders and extra he won't get to his boards anymore. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. That is right. Definitely. And of course we're in, in round one and we so far we have only casted our own matches today. So um, <laughs> not that much, that much casting at all. It's true. But like we had very, very spicy matches of uh, Machina Gadgets versus the Mir Miracle Gemini. Miracle Gemini. That was amazing. <laughs> Normal summoning Thunder King Ryo was a really strong move back in the day. <laughs> I realized that. Yeah, that destroyed you. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely destroyed me, yeah. Like having a handful of. This Ooh. is Sparta! <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> there he is. I got that joke out of my head. That's <laughs> so, Sparta is there. Do you actually. Do you do the Ghost Ogre on the Sparta maybe? Because then LP is not able to summon something out either. Does he have has have a Boria in the graveyard? I don't think so. I think, okay. <laughs> He's monster reborn. Yeah. <laughs> ogre in sweet two one. Jonesy is making the countdown. I think you should ogre the Spatha at this point if there's no Boria. Yeah, you're right. Because you still have Hendrix for like the LP as well. He does not. Igli in the chat is asking what we are thinking about dangers. Oh, he wants to OTK. He doesn't want to go into his Ooh. boards. He just wants to kill his opponent, which I like really like. Like, <laughs> if he has, if okay. he has it, oh, there, there's okay. the OTK okay. machine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> just dropping it real quick. Uh, what is happening? Can he summon the Maximus from his hand still? Did he already use a Maximus? I think he did not. Right. And like, this is just gonna get Valored at the end of the main phase, <laughs> honestly, or Ogred on gaining attack points. <laughs> I think you should Valor it in case of call, but... So, he... Okay. That was kind of weird. <laughs> so he did deal 3,000 damage points, and he actually invested quite a bit to that. I'm really wondering, because he saw that the Salomon Grade player did not have very good openings, so maybe just building up your board would have been a lot better, because he would have struggled to actually get through that. I mean, he knows that there are many hand trips on the side of uh, Martin because like he didn't open anything and he didn't like set a card so there have to be some hand trips and I think like maybe yeah. having this big body is better <laughs> than uh, I don't know man like <laughs> just he's saying so actually he played around ogre so, <laughs> which is no. true yeah <laughs> he did actually play around ogre that's absolutely right yeah, he can attack like that was turn two yeah yeah for sure or is there like, it says one of the other cards that was Link Summoned that says you cannot attack with like other monsters or so? I don't think so. I have no idea about the Crusadia cards, honestly. <laughs> Chris, I, I think I know Hulchi in the chat. He's a Berlin player as well. Ah, oh, thanks to Farfa for hosting us. Oh, nice. Quite. Quite a well known name yeah. in the scene, I would say. Yeah, that is true. Quite a genuine move from him that he's. Putting all of you guys over to us. So also welcome to everybody who just joined us yeah. from the channel of Fafa. And in case you don't know, we're hosting the German Open 2 in Cologne today. 622 players, nine rounds of Yu-Gi-Oh! And we're just in the middle of round one right now. And it is 1-1 between Salomon Grades and Crusadia God Dragon. Yeah. 
and I think this will be closed out soon. Yeah, that is so. true. Our Crusader Guard Dragon player just invested a lot of resources to actually get into Boris War Dragon to do 3000 damage points. <laughs> does, but, does, does, does Boris Sword target? I don't think so. Um, uh, I'm just, just reading the chat right here. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I think no, this no, no, is no, like no, a no, wrong no. statement. Oh, you can't even respond. Yeah, that, that as well. That as well. That's true. Right, right. That is why you can't respond with hand drops on that. <laughs> Welcome to Farfa as well. <laughs> Good morning, gamers. Let's watch Borrowed Sword OTKs and Salamon Great combos all day long. <laughs> Maybe also some uh, some uh, Sky Striker mirror matches, some grindy games. No, the Crusaders player didn't start. Martin just passed because he had like four hand traps and the Falco. Yeah, Hochi, you're wrong. He just uh, passed. Game he one. can't yeah, use. Yeah, definitely know him. <laughs> Gazelle there. Why, why can't he use Gazelle? I don't know. Why shouldn't you be able to use Gazelle? I have no idea. Like, Gazelle can trigger whenever a Salomon Great card is sent to the graveyard, yeah. wherever from. So, no problem in that. <laughs> People are still asking for a Gazelle ban. <laughs> like, like, really? Guys, I don't think Konami is going to ban Gazelle, especially not when they're announcing that they're only going to make small adjustments to the list. <laughs> I mean, even before that, it was very unlikely, but now I think it's just I, I would, out of the range. I would love to see something like Jack Jaguar to two. <laughs> that would be such a wasted hit, yeah. But like, let's just put some cards back to the uh, uh, semi-limited section. section. That was what I wanted to say. Like, ah, servus, yeah, the deutsche Kasse, du, here, yeah, servus. I basically never say semi-limited because there's so few semi-limited cards. Oh. And, like, the section is so useless. <laughs> just just put some cards on it, so. <laughs> so, Twin Trister is coming down now to destroy the field spell, or what? Yeah, and he just protected it with his bailings. That's yeah. very, very good. And he didn't bounce the Boral Sword with Merge Stelio, apparently. <laughs> that is interesting, I want to say. Does he have... Did he, oh, oh, he summoned Phantasmae, probably. Like, But why is there no Phantasmae on the board? Because like he could not... Maybe he bounced the, the Phantasmae? Yeah, but you can negate that as well, if you want. Yeah, you can, but maybe uh, he didn't want to. Yeah, maybe... We should like stop talking bullshit and focus on the game more. <laughs> Some sometimes like the games are playing out so weird that I have no idea what's going on. Like just like what one minute or you're talking like for ten seconds and players do that much bullshit. <laughs> I have no Please idea. Please don't what say they're doing bullshit. Just let's just say they're doing their own combos in, in some way, okay? <laughs> Haven't you been to our latest streams? <laughs> <laughs> there was some bullshit, that's true, yeah. I definitely have to agree on that. But now that looked like Jack Jagger, or why did he take back something? I know he just activated the effect of Sunlight Wolf, probably. And there is the Heat Leo. And another one. They call me Heat Leo when I'm cooking. <laughs> no comment, guys. No comment. <laughs> Please don't react to that. <laughs> I am so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack Jaggy is coming down as well. Let's see. Doesn't Solomon just lose? He just he just dies next turn? I mean Yeah, I mean he he, he, he also can... can't be killed by battle. All right. <laughs> yeah yeah. Okay. Did you, do you think actually that Solomon Great really is losing here? I mean, he did not bounce it, and he cannot summon Miristelio again this turn, so he probably struggles to find an outer bonus right? Does Galio have any kind of fuel, though? Because that doesn't really look like it. No, that, that's true. I mean, he has only 5,000 life points. That's right. He just... Why don't you take away the Boral Sword? Oh, did he just... Oh, he can just OTK in there, I think. Okay. Oh, no, he can put it to defense position. Yeah, and he probably does not realize... And look at the face <laughs> of the... Of the... Crusadia player. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, that is yeah. insanity right there. And yeah, what does he have there? Oh, he, he has, has ogre. ogre. Wow, but, okay, but that was like, like... he cannot respond to that, or? Yeah, I mean, no, he can't. Th he cannot he respond to he that can't effect. respond to that effect. So, so please stop it, because he oh, cannot no, respond let's, there. Let's write someone. Let's tell someone. No, no, he no, can't no, ogre no, no, no. it. He cannot ogre it, for sure. Uh, where, where's our WhatsApp group? <laughs> ah. 
judge, judge, judge. We will have a judge emote in our. We can spoil that so far, I guess. We will have a very Why, why did they take our local group and call it German Open Group? Like, <laughs> this is so confusing. No. So they, they still Stop have it. not realized this. Stop it. Somebody tell Stop them, it. please. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, guys, oh, please, man. please. Why does this happen every time? Okay, so we will not comment on what's happening right now because we still want to get the ah. judge over. What? Oh, he summoned it with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, right. still... Oh, man, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please. We know that he can't ghost or report us on. Stop shouting at us. <laughs> we definitely need a judge right now, yeah. And Everyone is screaming at us. I because hate it this. was absolutely an Giant. illegal play. Giant. We're really and we sensitive. Cannot allow that. <laughs> accepted game set. No, no accepted game set. That was not allowed to happen. And we definitely have to rewind the game if that's hap uh, if we like can. Yes, and we need a judge operator. <laughs> yeah, and the more the players are actually doing right now, the less likely it is that we can rewind the game. So please, yeah. oh, there is a judge coming over. So he actually ogred the effect of Boris Ward, and you yeah. cannot respond to that. So please tell that to the judge, and uh, yeah, we, then they will realize it on their own. I mean, it, it sounded like Bastian was just saying this to you guys, but he actually talked to our operator. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. I'm just talking to them. Yeah, he, he used the effect of Ghost Ogre on the effect of Boris Ward, but to the effect of Boris Ward, you cannot respond. So he cannot activate all Ghost Ogre. Exactly. So again, I was just talking to our operator guys, so please do not wonder. Does Boral Sword gain attack when he gets attack? Because he could have also ogred that, right? Um, let's, let's just check that. I'm not too sure. I, I don't think that it happens. The defense uh, effect, Matze. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So now you are talking to our operator. Yeah, it was Martin Stern indeed, right? Uh, so I think it's, yeah, of course, it's kind of funny for the judge yeah. to come to the table and the, the players do not even have a problem. They're like, um, what, no. what do you want okay. from us? <laughs> yeah, so it can't get the attack points in the opponent's turn. So it says, like, when it declares attack. So. So they, the players do not even realize that they have to rewind the game. So they're like, yeah, the bow sport was just summoned with his spell. So I think he now realizes what happened there because he just like put this. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, it should be easily reversible. Yeah, he just drew one card so far. So I think we're good to actually okay. rewind the game from there. I, have, I, I actually uh, know how to read lips. I don't know if you say it like this in English. <laughs> so I can just translate what the players are saying. Oh, I attack with the uh, Chimera. So, so we are getting a message from our operator. Okay. Yeah, next time we will have to scream louder when we see any. any I mean, I think we did, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We got to the point that we actually are fixing the game right now, or it looks like we are. Do we? The judge is saying that's weird. <laughs> Why would they DQ Kevin? Like don't DQ Kevin. <laughs> we definitely are not going. I mean, we are definitely not going to DQ. I, I mean, this aren't really easy rulings. It's like action is like so wrong because like he activated a card or Martin activated a card when the, the other card said you can't respond to this. So this is actually easy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just print it on the card. You cannot yeah. respond to this effect. So please do not respond to uh, the effect. You, you can just te technically do not respond to it. Like it's not, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. uh, you're not allowed or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're not allowed to actually no, do no, it. No, no work arena, but actually it it's hurts. It's not just a misplay, it's just not allowed. It hurts the Crusadia player, by the way, because now if they're, if, if this is reversed and Borrel Sword is still in the extra deck monster zone, then he can't and, yeah, yeah, trigger yeah, yeah, his Magus to get a search. <laughs> Actually, that's, it's bad for him now, right? Yeah, I think so. It's true. I mean, oh, well, he can just... Ogre will just be added back to the hand, yeah. and then he would have to attack a monster and then try to gain attack points. I, uh, I have, like, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, what is happening? 
So Ogre is getting. Yeah, ich hab's halt auch nicht mitgekriegt. So. <laughs> Guys, uh, there's some talk about accepted game states. And basically, that's just a very rare case that an accepted game state can occur when like a lot of stuff happened afterwards. But always, when you have the chance to actually rewind the game and to repair the game state, you will always try to do that as a judge. So guys, yeah. please just don't say accepted game state. That's so wrong in, in a whole lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so... The, it's just the, such uh, a flying word in Yu-Gi-Oh! community, just accepted game state, but there's not really something as an accepted game state, and you cannot use that to your advantage. <laughs> Chat is loving accepted game state, though. <laughs> Okay, so end of main phase. Effect Valor will. So. The salad guy also used Falco to add fusion of fire to hand when it gets set to the field. This means that fusion of fire would have been destroyed by Twin Twister. What are you saying? You just read that out. Is that is that correct? I don't really remember honestly, uh, but this sounds like it could be true. Okay. We are just going to ignore that for now. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like because a good I have plan. no idea if this is true. I didn't I didn't realize that either. Didn't Phantasma Valor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had that situation before, like that game really seems kinda messed up. Salamence, True Drake, and Sky Strike are the reason I'm not playing right but those decks are like really cool. I mean, Thunder, okay, I get it, but Salamence great and Sky Striker make such an amazing format. Yeah, definitely. And I like some some people are arguing that the boards are just too strong turn one, but actually because your deck is so powerful as well, if you're yeah. playing like one of the trivia decks, you you can actually deal with it and you yeah, can handle true. these boards. And I think it's kind of fun to actually. Yeah. I mean, when you have a deck, it can just break a big board is really fun, I think. Yeah, really... Maybe you can't really break a Thunder Dragon board, because... Occasionally you can. Like, it's really hard, through, especially when they have Arc Brave combo yeah. and also discarded one of your cards in hand. That's, like, not optimal, I would say. You really struggle with that. But I think usually you will have, you will have quite a good format. I mean, the deck is very fragile to hand traps. Right. Gotta admit. No, you can't when they make four cards of yours useless or lock you. I mean, yeah. We definitely had worse formats, just I would say. Them. <laughs> just hand trap them. Just I mean, keep in mind to draw your hand traps and then you're absolutely fine. You can beat the deck, so... So it looks like it is the turn of the Salomon Great player again. Yeah. <laughs> look at, look Did at you just it. attack again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Try to use your ogre, bro. I, I, I loved how he just put it in defense position and then like put his arms together like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boral sword, big guy. Yeah, is he just, Why is he just killing it? Or does no, he's, he... he's playing around the ogre. I mean, which makes sense. <laughs> I mean, if you know there's, a, there's an ogre. Oh, that was his second bailing. Now put your... Right, Phantasma to defense, and attack, and attack for game. Is that game? That is game indeed. Okay, so. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Look at this reaction. Yes, yeah. I did it. Yeah, well, he actually overcome that 1-0 deficit and turn it around in fashion, in style. <laughs> do, do you think that was in fashion? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he showed us a new approach to the Crusadia God Dragon deck by just summoning that Boral Sword Dragon. This is Boral Sword Control, guys. Yeah. We have got a new deck in our metagame breakdown, which is Boral Sword Control. Yeah. 